Hey guys, this is Versatile from Game Dexterity. In today's tutorial, I'm going to give you a crash course, an introduction to Dreamcast modding. In particular, I'm going to show you how you can use your Dreamcast to play backed up games onto CDRs. Granted, you have to have your Dreamcast manufactured on a certain date. So to help drive the point home, because I know people can listen, but it doesn't stick in their brains for whatever reason, I'm going to force you to read this. So if you have a Dreamcast console, kudos if you still have it in the day and age of PS3 and Xbox 360, but if you have a Dreamcast, you can actually play games that are backed up onto CDRs only if the Dreamcast is made before October of 2000. Why? Because after October 2000, Sega changed the way the the CD-ROM drive, the GD-ROM drive worked and added this, um, I don't know what you call it, anti-piracy protection. So you can't play backed up games. However, if you have an older model, before that, you're good to go, just like I have it. So how do we get started? Basically, there's two ways that this can happen. First of all, you can have a Dreamcast game. Um, I do not recommend you research how to back up a Dreamcast game because it really is a lot of work. If you have a retail game, you got to get a special cable and special Dreamcast software. Don't even bother with it. You can go online to various websites. I'm not going to help you there, but leave a comment and maybe I'll help you out. But anyways, you can go online and basically there's websites where you can download Dreamcast games and they come in two flavors. The first flavor is self-bootable. What that mean is you just download the game, extract it, burn it, and then your Dreamcast automatically recognizes it. The second method is called non-bootable games. You need a boot disk called a Utopia Boot Disk 1.5. You burn that boot disk and then you put in your backed up game and that boots it as well. And when I do the real video with my camera, I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about. But if you want to get started with the Utopia side, just go to this link here. It has all the information that you need. Basically what I'm saying here is you download the Utopia, the Utopia boot disk, excuse me, you extract it to wherever. So I'm going to extract it to my desktop here. And then you can use a program like Disk Juggler to burn this image. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, I have another Dreamcast video that shows you how to burn every single file format uh, game for your Dreamcast. So please watch that if you have not done so already. So with that said, let's jump straight into the other video. In this part of the video, I'm going to show you real life proof of using the two different methods of playing backed up games on your Dreamcast. The first method, I'm going to show you the art of using the Utopia disc, which is basically a boot disc that you can download and burn to a, to a regular CDR. And then you can use this boot disc to load games that are not bootable. If you don't have the Utopia boot disc, then it shows up as an audio CD in your Dreamcast. So let me show you how this works. I just insert the Utopia boot disc into the Dreamcast turn on the Dreamcast and then watch it boot. So this is a good sign. This says right here that basically you put in your backed up game. So all I need to do here is we're going to play a copy of um, Power Stone, which is a great Dreamcast game. So, all I need to do is basically pop open the lid here, take out the Utopia disc, put in the Power Stone disc, close the tray, and then the Dreamcast will automatically load it. So really, within a couple of seconds, you're good to go. There's hardly any lag. The Dreamcast treats the backed up disc as a regular game disc, so there's no issues at all. So let me go and show you the second method of how simple it is to use a Dreamcast to boot a game that's already self-bootable. So I'm going to turn off the Dreamcast, take out my non-bootable uh, Power Stone disc. And what I have here is a game called Cosmic Smash, which is a pretty cool Dreamcast game. It's um, self-bootable because I downloaded it that way. 
Turn on the Dreamcast. And what you notice is the Dreamcast will just automatically load it. No need for a Utopia disc. Um, most of the games you find online are self-bootable anyways, but sometimes you might find a game rip that is not self-bootable, and that's why you need a Utopia disc. So just to prove to you that this works, I'm going to um, do like a quick uh, gameplay of this game. It's pretty cool. If you're into Dreamcast, maybe you should definitely check out this game. Welcome to Cosmic Smash. Let's begin. Alright, so I had enough. So you can clearly see that everything is pretty uh, functional. So if you have any questions, by all means leave a comment here on the YouTube page and I will get back to you as soon as possible. Once again, thank you for watching. Take care. Bye.